So I was in the National Geodesic Museum of Colorado the other day, I think it was Colorado anyway, and I went into the gift shop and let me tell you, I saw some glasses that were £10,000. Not £10,000 in weight, but £10,000 in the British currency. And I was confused as to why they were so expensive, until I found out they make you 10 times better at Geodesic, which is what a person like me really needs. You may think these look like a pair of sunglasses, and they probably are, I've probably been slammed. But you know what, we're gonna try them out anyway and hopefully we get 250,000 points. We're gonna play a map that features 32 smallest countries countries in the world. You know, it's got to be quite difficult. Let me just put these on real quick. And now we're talking. Let's get into it. It's not gonna lie, it does feel kind of dark. Okay, from this I'm immediately getting Switzerland vibes. Yep, there's large mountains in the distance. That pretty much means it's Switzerland or Austria. It could be Austria. Oh, hold on a second. We got a flag here. What is this? That's the Swiss flag. That's got to be. There's some sort of angry Swiss writing going on here. I don't know what that means, but it's probably a threat. Graffiti on a wall in Switzerland? You're telling me there's injustice going on in Switzerland? What the hell? Oh my god, what is that sign? It looks like a Windows XP tab error. Look at that. Let's go for like the capital of Switzerland. Where's Switzerland? It's just here. Should we go for Zurich or should we go for a bit further? Or maybe even Bern? Let's go for somewhere a bit more uh, out of the city actually. Let's go for like Engelberg. That sounds like a decent place. Actually, no, maybe that's a bit too in the middle of nowhere. I think we're going to be down here near the mountains though. So I'm going to go for somewhere here. Free bird. Here we go. 282 kilometers, Jesus Christ, it was near Vaduz. I somehow got the furthest distance in Switzerland, and it's a tiny country. I think the glasses just need a bit of warming up, you know. Hold on a second. Panama. This is Panama, is it not? I feel like that's just too obvious. Like, I guess it does kind of look like Panama with all the um, tropical trees. Well, maybe it's one of the island nations off the coast of Panama. And maybe these ships are waiting by the Panama Canal. I feel like it'd be stupid not to go with Panama since it does say Panama on it. Let's go for one of the ports around here. Let's go here. God damn it, it was Trinidad and Tobago. I'm starting to think these glasses are a bit of a placebo effect. My game hasn't loaded in. It looks like I'm playing Minecraft right now. Can it please load in for the love of God? Coconut Court Beach Hotel Weather Station. If the coconut is hot, it's sunny. If the coconut is wet, it's raining. If the coconut is swaying, it's windy. If the coconut is tall, it's cloudy. If the coconut is gone, it's a hurricane. But there is a bit of a flaw with this. If the coconut is wet, it's raining. What if the coconut is wet because there's been a tsunami? They didn't think of that, did they? I'll let them slide for now. But I think they should do better in the future because it's not accurate. Hold on a second, it's Barbados. We're in the coconut beach resort in Barbados. So where is Barbados? It's probably off the coast somewhere. Which way are we facing? We're facing the southwest, so we've got to be further down, I take it. Coconut Court Beach, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are just around here somewhere. This has got to be a 5,000 point moment. Let's just go here. 51 meters, that is what you love to see. 5,000 points, let's go. I knew these glasses worked, I just knew it. But we go on to the fourth round. This has been an awful day, my Geo Guesser, but the glasses are starting to warm up finally. And we are in Andorra, I believe. I think this is Andorra, that has the Ferris wheel. That's not the London Eye, I'm pretty sure. I feel like this has to be Andorra. This, the, the mountains in the distance, the architecture, the kind of Spanish architecture. I'm just going to assume it's in the town centre somewhere. I'm going around here. I don't care. This has got to be 234 metres, 4,999 points. They just robbed me of a point. But that's good. We might have just saved the game. Wait, oh yeah, there's a fifth round I forgot. And I've had this location before. Are you serious? Unfortunately, these glasses don't bring back good memory. But I'm pretty sure this was the mini cut, is it not? Gavin's apartment. Why would we care about your apartment, Gavin? I get that you've got a nice apartment in the Dominica, Gavin. But it's not a nice thing to flex on other people. We're facing northwest, so maybe we should be a bit further up. I can't find the exact town, but I'm going to go for this street here. Please let me guess. 32 kilometers. Holy crap, it was so much further south. 4,801 points. But the problem is the glasses are meant to get me 5,000 points. Maybe I need to warm them up by playing another round. 19,000 points. I guess it's okay. You know, it's not the best in the world, but a decibel world. We should play this map. It's meant to be decibel, surely. Is this decibel? It seems like it could be decibel. Is this Cambodia? It looks a lot like Cambodia. I think this is Cambodia. Let me just double check. Look at these posts. They're typical Cambodian posts. Although they're not speaking the Cambodian language, which is a bit, you know, like, why aren't they speaking the Cambodian language? What about Malaysia? I think this could be Malaysia, actually. Let me go to Malaysia. But you see, I have a problem. I don't know where in Malaysia. Kampong? I feel like we saw a sign saying Kampong, but this is too close to the beach. Kampong and Pankan. You know, I guess it could be by the beach somewhere, because these would be just streams leading out to the ocean or something. Okay, let's go for this location. How close are we? 304 kilometers. Well, at least it was the right country. It was the other side, however. They're telling me this is meant to be guessable. I think the glasses just need to be warmed up a little bit, you know? We just gotta keep playing. Maybe either... 
America or Australia. I know they're both very far away from each other, but it's a possibility. They do have some similarities. I think this is mainly America, judging by the architecture. If it was Australia, there'll be more bungalows. You know what I'm saying? Or even Canada, this could be. Oh, wait, it's the USA flag. Okay, maybe it was the USA. My bad. Let me go back to the, uh, let me go back to the ocean front real quick. And we're on the northwest. Could this be Seattle? Hold on a second. Hold on. Did I just see that correctly? Washington Avenue. This I told you it was Seattle. Not Seattle. I mean Washington. You know, it's always guess easy guessing the country, but it's always difficult guessing the location within the country. Hold on a second. That looks like a government building up there. That kind of looks like the White House. Why is it blurred? Oh yeah, this is a government building, all right. We can go right up to it as well. This feels kind of wrong. I'm actually kind of concerned it's the other Washington, like the capital city, Washington. I have a feeling, judging by how old this building is, that this is the Washington on the east side. Because older buildings are typically on the east coast because it was discovered earlier. We've got to guess near the coast somewhere. I'm going to go around here somewhere. Okay, it was, wait, hold on a second. How does that make any sense? How does that, how does that make any sense, huh? Wisconsin? You're telling me this small city in Wisconsin has all of that? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think GeoGuessr might be in the wrong there. I can't believe GeoGuessr messed up, you know? They're, they're such dumbasses. That Magneta did a bit. Well, this is, this, I feel like this could be like, if this was Germany, we'd see a lot more blurred houses. So it has to be Austria. Salzburg, okay. Yep, I told you, Austria. Salzburg is a city on the border of Germany and Austria. Just there, but we're not going for this location because it's saying it's going towards Salzburg. Hold on, Searsburg. It's saying city park, so we must be in a city. Maybe we are in Salzburg. Okay, maybe this is Salzburg. You know what? You know what? Let's just guess for Salzburg. It's got to be. Is it not 196 kilometers? Okay, that's it's not too bad. Oh, okay, there was Searsburg. We're in a city called Graz. I didn't see any signs for Graz. Kind of GeoGuessr's fault for not putting Searsburg in bid writing. How was I meant to know the location? If they want me to guess the location, they've got to make it clear, you know? And we go on to the next... Wait, what the hell is that? That is the biggest nest I've ever seen. All those twigs for that one seagull. Is that good for the environment? You no, know, one of those nests in London would have gone for like £500 per month. 23. Oh, yeah, that's a good hint. Thank you for that. Okay, looking at it, we're on the more like central east side of Europe. Maybe like Czech. Um, uh, 911 kilometers. Okay, it was Lithuania. Near Latvia. Once again, it didn't make it clear to me. How was I meant to know? Let's hope we can get 5,000 points on this last location. I don't think we'll be able to. That is actually kind of a cool building. What the hell? That's sick. Like a modern day castle. That's pretty sick. Doesn't tell me the location though, so it's pointless in my opinion. Yeah, I'm getting kind of, um, you know, North America island vibes from this. I really want to go for the Dominican Republic. Here we are. We're in a bit more of a town centre now. This might help. Texas? I don't think this is Texas. I could be wrong. A bit too exotic for Texas in my opinion. I don't think Texas have like palm trees and stuff like that. I feel like this has to be the Dominican Republic. I'm sure it is. I'm going to go for this city, you know, just here. Please. Oh my god, it was Venezuela. Oh wait, no it wasn't. It wasn't even Venezuela, it was Brazil. Oh my god. No, it was Colombia, my bad. God damn it, these glasses are not working. 15,000 points, that's one of my worst GeoGuessr games ever. These are meant to make me better. Oh, okay, yeah, I found the problem. Apparently you've got to turn these glasses on. So I was just playing with regular sunglasses. Okay, well, hopefully now they work, you know. That's kind of embarrassing. Nah, how can you look like an idiot with these sunglasses on? Who am I kidding? Okay, we're going to play this city guessing map without moving. And we're going to get 25,000 points. Okay, maybe... No, we're not, actually. Septe Autobus. Cathedral. Rue de la Cathedral. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it now. I'm, I'm not dumb. Maybe Montreal. Too many skyscrapers to be French, so it just has to be Montreal. Look, Air Mont. Mont. You hear that? Mont. It's Montreal. Let's go somewhere around here. 309 meters. That's what you love to see. 4,999 points. That is beautiful. And I didn't even move. And we go on to the next location and we are on a river. What does this say? 50. 50. There's a, uh, there's a, um, there's a city. There's mountains in the distance. Nice palm trees. I'm getting palm trees. And I think I know which place this has to be. You know San Francisco? I don't know why I'm down here. That's France. You know San Francisco? Just up here. They have a bridge, don't they? The Golden Gate Bridge. I think this is the Golden Gate Bridge. Go around here. 8.8 kilometers. Okay, never mind. It was a different bridge. Oh, yeah, because I think the Golden Gate Bridge doesn't have an underground bit. That would make a bit more sense. We go on to the third round. And what can I see here? Uh, what language is that? Is that French? This has to be French, isn't it? That's a French sign. Yep, it's definitely France. I mean, I kind of knew that anyway because of the glasses, you see. I don't think this is Paris. Bastille. So where am I possibly thinking? I'm thinking the city of Arles. I think it is. Does that say Paris? I can't work it out, but I feel like that says Paris. Hold on a second. If this is Paris, I swear to God. Okay, look. Place de la Bastille. Hold on a second. 
Hold on a second. Okay, maybe it is Paris. Hold on, look, because it says Bastille right there. Okay, this is Bastille. Never mind. Who would have known, eh? 1.2 kilometers. Okay, never mind. I'm glad I went with Paris. You see the glasses? The, the reason why they worked there is because they gave me more motivation to look for the location. Patisserie. Oh, don't tell me it's another French city. I mean, like, come on, this has to be France. She's literally holding a baguette. This this is so French. What, what other country would hold a baguette in such a stereotypical fashion? Let's put it this way. Paris has the most bridges in the cities of France. So statistically, it should be Paris. But we have already had Paris the previous round. And this has to be northern France, judging by the weather and the trees. So if I was going to make a smart decision here, I would go with Paris again. Okay, there's not much I can do. I'm just going to go for Paris. Please, 8.9 kilometers. I told you it was Paris. It just made sense statistically. You know what? I'm happy with this. Could this be a 25,000 point game? No. La Vez. Isn't La Spanish? And oh, that's definitely a Spanish building as well. 100%. Look at the color of the roof. San Anton. Where is San Anton? Is that Spain? Let's go for Madrid. Let's just see if there's a San Anton in Madrid. Does that say Madrid right there? They've got EU number plates as well, so it's not like it can be like Mexico or something where they speak Spanish. It literally has to be Spain. Nah, I don't think it can be there. Let me just double check Barcelona again. I think we're going to have to make a wise guess here and just go for Madrid. Is there anything down there? What does that say? Does that say anything? Does that say Madrid? I wish... I think that does say Madrid. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Let's go for Madrid. I don't care if it's wrong anymore. The glasses aren't helping, you know. Let's just go. Guess. 1.4 kilometers. It was Madrid. Oh, my God. This has been a beautiful game. See, once again, the glasses just gave me motivation to keep looking. Now, let's go on to the view summary. 20... Oh, my God. I can see light again. 24,923 points. I mean, that is, just, that is just beautiful. Especially without moving. That's pretty good, I think. Yeah, I forgot to film an outro again. But that's it for today's GeoGuessr video. If you did enjoy it, feel free to leave a like and maybe even subscribe we are so close to 100,000 subscribers